Welcome everyone to your Shader Notes training, I'm CG Matter and this is lesson 1.4 of the course. In this lesson we'll talk about navigation and selection which is fairly basic but still necessary to go over. Come to think of it, I bet we can actually cover everything in 30 seconds or less. So I'm going to set a stopwatch that's going to time us in 3, 2, 1. Okay, here we go. Just like always, we need to start off by configuring our workspace in the standard way that we've been doing. Notice that right now our node graph is being cut off and we want a way to solve this without resizing the shader editor. A way to get around this is by actually navigating from inside this window. By scrolling the mouse wheel up and down, we zoom in and out of the editor, and by holding down the mouse wheel, we can pan around. Obviously, there's going to be no equivalent to orbiting because the shader editor is limited to only two dimensions. We can select a node by just clicking it, and to deselect the node we can either click anywhere in the background or we can use the hotkey Alt-A. To select multiple nodes, we can use shift-clicking to add to our selection, use the hotkey A to select everything, or just click and drag like you would in the 3D viewport. Since Blender selection tools are near universal, you can also use circle selection and lasso selection, although these are far less common. Some other tricks are using Ctrl I to invert a selection, using L to select all incoming nodes, and using Shift L to select all outgoing nodes. If you ever forget any of these hotkeys, you can just check the select tab, or what I recommend is hitting random buttons on your keyboard until Blender does what you want it to. Some final tricks that can help you out is using period on the number pad to center a selection, using the home key to center the entire node graph, and using Ctrl F to search for a node in your network which Blender will center. And there you go, that's everything you need to know about navigation and selection in under 30 seconds. We actually finished with some time to spare, so here's some confetti to celebrate. On top of that, there's only two lessons left in this introductory chapter, so let's celebrate again. In the next lesson, we'll go over how to quickly work with and manipulate nodes, so I'll see you there in just a bit.